I want to see this change of heart. I want to know what's going to go down. <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> this is insane. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Dude, Yusuke ex Futaba for life. It's actually confirmed. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> You say that like you're not tapping into your inner child, too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. <laughs> Ryuji hits up the loudspeaker. Yo, bring more food to the Phantom Thieves. We deserve it. It's 100% a Ryuji thing. You said something like that. Yes. <laughs> Ryuji, you are the adult here. Well, now Ryuji is not an adult. Don't fight in those, please. What was that? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. <laughs> what was that laugh? I love these characters. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Still, you're getting party will be for me. Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? Why would you... Everything from here on is your fault. Why would you even say this? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. John, John, I agree wholeheartedly. If I was like rich, like rich, rich, I would also just have a bunch of weeb stuff like replicas of key blades and like the Geo Gray Sword, like you said, and other stuff like that. I have like, I'd have like Beelzemon's gun and all that kind of stuff. I would love it. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions how lax we were with sanitation, and how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes, I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, 
These happen to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. Oh yeah, I'm sure he is. Sign? You Bayonetta! Monachan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. What happened? I want to know that myself. We made sure we just took the treasure too. I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is the same. I remember now. It's just like what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. For today, I think we should all return home. Just had to put Bayonetta in the game, didn't you, Sakurai? It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <clears throat> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. It's gotta be hard to be so wrong. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. There was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? 
As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, Sai-san. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. I'm gonna press X to doubt. Did you see the news? Did you see? He collapsed during the interview. This is serious. That was gruesome. Wish they put some sort of warning on the video. How are they supposed to know? They said President Okumura died. Really? Well, you're right. I just saw a news report about it. I'm surprised my rating didn't drop at all. Ah, uh, what is this now? So about Haru's dad. Uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through. Oh my goodness, something in my throat. He'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No! Haru, why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shot could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to just up and die? It's gotta be some kind of joke. Haru, are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? Ugh. It should have been okay. It should have been. You said it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public, but keep Haru in our minds. <sighs> Dang it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? Yeah, we're absolutely not to blame for this. It was Bayonetta. Haru's gonna be fine, right? I don't know. We'll see. Can I uh, put some stuff in this? Yeah! My last... Uh... Garden energy. No, that's cheap. This is one I want to use. Yeah. Never mind. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, give me that kindness. I need rank 5 already. Coffee Daddy demands it. All right. Oh. That should do it for a while. All right. You're not gonna let me go do anything? Hey. No. Nope. All right. We gotta sleep for the day. Well, we've made it past that, chat. Oh, Velvet Room? Okay. What's Igor thinking about all this? Give me the rundown. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. I always do. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. Yeah, what happened, man? Give me the rundown. Who knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. Ah, uh, dude, sick. What is this, is this rank nine with Igor? We're one away from the blood oath with the prison master himself. All right. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Well, there you go. Rank 9 on the cat and Igor. I knew it. Dropped by like 12%. What was that comment? Get that out of here. Is that true? Did you hear? Okamura died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? Wish I'd been watching when it happened. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it, it's still bizarre. Wish I'd seen it live. That's why you gotta watch Twitch, my dude. Listen. 
in this time. And in okay? this age, proletarian literature, that is literature working by the working class, written by the working class. Did you see that interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera show first. I was so scared, I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. <laughs> Things are getting pretty bad. Yeah, man. It's rough. Been live for an, a little over an hour and a half. So we still got plenty of time to get some more stuff done. It seems police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you any about any of this? Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okamura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okamura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. Then seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out and head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? Don't tell me how to live my life. Hey, QWERTY, what's up, man? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes. All right, now that's been planted 100%. We never sent that man a calling card. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? Yes, new member of the Phantom Thieves. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. Yo, I haven't talked much about, like, the fact that you start the game by being told that there's a traitor and then you have to figure it out. Or you don't have to figure it out, but you see it eventually. But I'm kind of thinking right now... I think, like, at the moment, the two biggest suspects of being the potential traitor are Makoto and Haru. Like, what if Haru, because she, like, this messed up with her father, she thinks, like, the Phantom Thieves are too much of a loose cannon and they need to be brought in. Or maybe Makoto accidentally lets something slip to say. Those two are, like, the only... I don't see Ryuji, On, or Yusuke becoming traitors anytime soon. And Morgana, being the cat, doesn't really have an option to betray us. So, at the moment, out of all the information I currently have, those are just, like, my top two thoughts at the moment, is that it's maybe Haru or Makoto. If it's Makoto, I think it's by mistake. I don't think Makoto willingly betrays us. It just accidentally happens. Haru might willingly, tra uh, willingly betray us, though. But we'll see. I just wanted to throw that out there, since I just thought of it. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal... No one told me about that. Oh, here we go again, boys. How dare you accuse second and fifth best girls? <laughs> Maybe everyone is a traitor. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. I never sent that man a calling card. You don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? Without saying my teammate's name, my teammate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. Well, you know, there is that one guy who was beating up cats, you know, but you'll never find his body. Oh, hey! Another bond growth. I love it. 
I always like people theorizing who the traitor might be until the last moment. Me too. I haven't been doing it enough in this playthrough, but I, I really just haven't had many opportunities to come up with something. Subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. I'm sorry. I forgot that you would start talking again. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was. Hmm? What's the matter? Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? My vision is starting to get distorted. What? Hey, hey, can you hear, can you hear me? me? You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? My most recent crime? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. <laughs> Yo, what? Excuse me? Now, explain everything to me. Is me being imprisoned here all just... Is there actually not a traitor? And this is all actually just some big ploy to make it to where we can make Sai Say's treasure pop up? What is happening? This is wild. I like this. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I have not. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. Doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. I'm worried about her. Bam, now, now. 